In less than two months, Houston will elect a new mayor and the top candidates are now hitting the airwaves with a brand new TV ads hoping to earn your vote. Our Marcelino Benito here tonight digging into this new phase of the race and where things stand. Marcelino. Mia, the polling shows this is clearly a two person race. Check this out. State Senator John Whitmire is at 34%. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee is at 32%. And if these numbers hold, that means the race would go to a runoff. And that's where things really get interesting. In a runoff, this poll from the Hobby School at UH shows Whitmire topping Jackson Lee by a big margin, 51% to 33%. And it's numbers like that likely leading to attack ads like this. John Whitmire and Greg Abbott together made getting guns and bringing them into schools easier. Jackson Lee attacking Whitmire, a fellow Democrat, and linking him to Governor Abbott and President Trump to boogeymen for Democratic voters. KHOU 11 political analyst Brandon Roddinghouse says that is strategic. The gloves are off. This is a new kind of race. Up to now, it's been having forums and people are pretty friendly with each other. But I think that both parties recognize that they've got to really throw some punches here. Senator Whitmire also out with an ad of his own. Take a look. I know how to solve problems. The approach much different. So far, Whitmire focusing on introducing himself to voters, positive ads, no real attacks yet. The campaign, though, telling me tonight in part, quote, John Whitmire has been endorsed by leading Democrats. He has always been a proud Democrat and his record on reproductive health care for women and support for our black, Latino, Asian and LGBTQ plus communities is impeccable. Again, based on the polling, Jackson Lee is the one with a lot of ground to make up here. She's got to rally her supporters if she wants to have a shot in a possible runoff. Early voting is set to begin in just 41 days on October 23rd. Back to you.